Hi, welcome to Flight Test. I'm Josh, and today we are at Huckfest 2012 in North Jackson, Ohio. And uh, as you can see, this is mainly a hardcore 3D giant scale event. Hi friends, I have the honor of talking to Joe Smith here, and uh, Joe Smith, you've been in the hobby for what, four years? Yep. That's amazing, and, and only flying for four years. Only flying for four years. Yeah. And he is he is a name that is well known around the RC community, and he specializes in giant scale RC airplanes. And, and there's a couple key differences with giant scale compared to the little foamies we fly, isn't it? Yes. And what would one of the main things be? Uh, just the power distribution. Power distribution. Yes. And the that, servos are bigger, so they're pulling more current, and you gotta figure out how to how to keep that separate from your receivers. If you have no juice, you have no servo exactly, control yeah. and receiver and things end badly. Yep. That's awkward. But why don't we check that out real quick? Yep. Like you said earlier, um, we got, what, 500 ounce servos in this thing? Yep. 1,000 ounce per ailerons? Two in each wing, one in each elevator half, and one on the rudder. And you don't want the actual current going through your receiver. Yep. And that's where this thing comes in. What is this? This is a SmartFly EQ10 power expander. It serves a couple different purposes, and one being it's a, a dual battery system. So okay. it keeps them separated, and if one battery would ever fail, then it, it, it shuts that side off and draws from the good batteries. So they're both being used all the time, but all if right. one would ever glitch, have a short, or anything, it would, it would quit using that side. Oh, okay. And also add synchronization and things like that because yep. you don't want servos fighting against each you other. You don't want them fighting each other. And it also keeps all the all the current on the outside of the receiver. As you can see, the only thing going in here is white white signal, signal wires. wires, and that's all the receiver does. The receiver has actually regulated the five volts. Okay. And the rest of the system is seen straight to us. So 7.4. So yep. Nice. Now this is one of my favorite things. Um, you must drink Fiji water. Yeah. <laughs> Well, what's the story behind this? I see a lot of guys, if they don't have a Fiji water bottle, they have one that looks just like it. it there's a lot of companies now making the aluminum caps for them, and they're just, they're clear, and they're a lot lighter than the ones, wow. the normal tanks, so. So that's what made you guys go to them, the fact that they're clear, they're, they're rigid. They're clear, and you can, yeah, you can see your clunk line, you can see that it's still, it's still in there. And, and they're not so. round, so you, they don't roll around, you don't have to fasten them as much. Yep. So that's that's awesome. Now, is there any other components here? Like, if someone was going to large scale, what are the must-haves? What would you say? Okay, make sure you invest this, this, and this. You want a fail-safe type switch. Okay. Okay. So this is called a pin and flag switch. Okay. And the plane only turns on when this is out. Okay. And this works by shorting out two pins. So the only thing that can shut this off is a metal object that fits that hole. So nice. that, that can never fail. And if this would come unplugged out of this board, the board turns on. Oh, wow. So, so, so no matter what, you're no always matter, Yeah, no matter what, that, that won't fail. And the other thing is, is uh, you want some type of some type of system that will will keep your your ignition and your receiver separate. Okay. There's a lot of voltage inside that ignition box sending the sparks, so you got to keep those two separate. Okay. So there's a thing called a smart fly fiber optic kill. Okay. And it actually is a fiber optic cable. The transmitter is down here. Okay. And it is a fiber optic cable that runs up here and it sends light. Okay. The only thing in between my receiver and my ignition is light. Really? Yep. So when it sees when it sees the light, the ignition is on. Okay. So and then you have another battery up here that is for the ignition. So it's all separate. So, so long story short, you want redundancy, you want voltage supply, and you want uh, a really cool, convenient package. Yes. Dual, dual batteries for redundancy. Dual yeah. batteries. Very cool, man. So, well, brother, I gotta thank you for showing us absolutely. this. Absolutely. Uh, you're taking a lot of the intimidation. I think flight test needs to get in the big scale now. Yes, I would agree. Maybe we should look at 3D hobby shops. These things are pretty amazing. They're becoming very popular. Yeah. That's awesome. Now, what is this plane? This is the 103 inch extra. 103 inch extra. Is that your personal favorite, or do you have a personal this, favorite? Like? This is yeah, this is my favorite. You like yeah. the extra? Because I also know you do demonstrations with the slick, right? The slick, yep, and the edges and the veloxes. And awesome. I prefer the slick. This will be my competition plane for next summer. So. Oh, fantastic. I want to thank you guys for watching. Joe, I want to thank you and 3D Hobby Shops for explaining this, taking some of the intimidation my pleasure, out. Yep. And I also want to ask you guys, check out flighttest.com. There's always new features coming up every time you go there. Check out the articles, too. They're getting better and better, and make sure you rate them as well. And uh, Joe, hopefully we'll get some footage of you flying Absolutely. on our channel, because, boy, you're an amazing pilot. Right? Thank you very you're much. I inspiration to many people. And you are, how many years? 18? 18. 18. He's, he's finally an adult. So, <laughs> and, and I could fly until I was 110 and not be half as good as him. So.
So uh, you are an inspiration, brother. I appreciate it. Appreciate All right, it. see you next time. You want help carrying this out? Yeah.